Today, we are looking into Demographic Transition Theory This is the most recent of all the population theory. It is concerned with historical population growth of a society by explaining the relationship between fertility, birth rate, and mortality, death rate, on population growth. The three stages of demographic transition are Stage 1, Pre-transition Phase The main features of this stage is high birth rate and high death rate. That is, this period shows high fertility and mortality which are not under secure control. This stage is characterized by high level of illiteracy, absence of birth control, poor medication, poor sanitation, poor diet, high level of ignorance and superstition beliefs. Stage 2, Transition Phase Modernization associated with better diets, higher incomes, improved health and so on leads to an increase in life expectancy and a marked reduction in mortality rates. This stage marks the beginning of demographic transition from stable or slow-growing population to rapidly increasing population. Stage 3, Post-Transition Both fertility and mortality are low due to modernization and development. That is, this stage is characterized by a low birth rate and low death rate. In other words, there is a relatively stable population with an older population. Criticism against demographic transition theory It is wrong to use the theory for general application since all countries are not the same. It uses crude birth rate to measure fertility. Decline in population varies in each country and caused by different factors. It fails to predict the level of birth rate and death rate. Factors responsible for high population growth in West Africa High birth rate, the birth rate is so high at present because of Improved medical facilities Early marriages Polygamy Low death rate, this is as a result of modern medical facilities and improved standard of living which generally make people live longer Migration, government and regional policies encourage free movement of nationals of other countries Control of population growth in West Africa Controlling population growth in most West African countries can be achieved through the following methods. Birth control or family planning. Child quota. Late marriage. Strict migration policies. Sex education.